the future. The future. Hey guys, Tyler here. Today we are going to be programming a 2023 Chevy Silverado using the Auto Pro Fad. As you guys may know, uh, CanFD has been down for a while, uh, but we do have it finally back up now. There is just a small caveat to it. We have to purchase credits in order to program these vehicles now. So I'm gonna show you the process on how to do that. So I'm gonna be pulling this up on my phone. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull up the website on our, my phone. So we're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to autokeypros.com. So we go to autokeypros.com and the website is currently locked uh, because it's not 100% ready for the public. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a password to get into the website real quick. We'll blur this out. And so I'm in the website now and this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to hit the three lines up here. We're going to go to subscriptions and I'm going to scroll down and down here closer to the bottom. There's this option right here that says can FD credit. So I'm going to select buy now and then we're going to go to checkout. And so you will need to sign up for an account. I already have an account, but if you went to that page, you didn't have an account, you just hit create account. You would create your account and then you would enter in your payment information, um, all of the good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter in a discount code, which we're also going to blur out. So that way, since I'm doing testing, I'm going to be using this to this coupon code in order to check out without having to pay. And this is required information here. So I'm going to fill this out real quick. All right. And then we've got to put in a phone number too. All right. And then once we have all of our information filled out, including our payment information, we're going to hit complete order. And, and now we should be receiving an email with that coupon code. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my email. And it says, we got our first email that says the order's been confirmed. And then this one right here is going to be our coupon code. So I'm gonna click this link right here. And now you can see there's our CanFD credit. So now that we have our credit, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the process. All right, now that we have our credit, we're gonna go ahead and, and jump into it. But before we do that, one thing I would like to note is that if you have an auto probe pad with the serial number, uh, if you're using a G2 and you have a serial number that is older than se serial number 771, this one being 1265, if you have a serial number older than 771, you do need to have a CAN FD adapter plugged in between the OBD and the vehicle. This one, I don't have it plugged in because CanFD is built in. If it is an AutoProPad G2 Turbo, it's serial number 1271 and newer have CanFD built in. Uh, otherwise, you need the CanFD adapter. So please make sure that you have a CanFD adapter. Make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. That is a very important to programming these vehicles. I have this connected to my mobile hotspot right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the process now. So we're going to go to immobilization. We're going to hit agree. We're going to hit GM USA. Uh, we're going to go to immobilizer here and we're going to go buy vehicle Chevrolet USA. We're going to select Silverado and then we're going to go to 2022 and newer. And then we're going to hit this option right here that says free pin. Wait for it to connect. So one thing I would like to talk about uh, is there are some newer vehicles that are 2023 and newer. Um, here, I'll get into that in a second. It's saying scanner has to be connected to the internet. We are connected to the internet. Uh, each programming requires a paid calculation authorization code, which is our CanFD credits. 
Please prepare the keys that need to be programmed. Make sure you have a stable network. After calculation is successful, please complete all the following operations as soon as possible. Otherwise, it may cause programming failure. So just keep that in mind. So there are some newer vehicles, uh, uh, like premium SUVs, as an example, one of them being a 2023, uh, uh, manufactured after March of 2023, uh, Yukon Denali, usually the higher trim levels. Some of those vehicles require a two hour wait in order to program the vehicle. Our tool is capable of programming those cars. We have tested it, it works. Uh, just some of those vehicles you're, you run into maybe a two hour wait. A majority of them should be the 10 hour wait. In the future, if they go to the dealer after March of 2023, being at any point after this point, um, they may be, be able to up, be upgraded to a point where it does require the two hour wait. So keep in mind that may be something you see in the future. Uh, but for right now, most of the cars you run into should be just the 10 minute wait. And if you're ever confused about which vehicles are the 10 minute wait and which ones are not, um, go to supportedvehicles.com and we tell you which ones are the premium trim level that, re that might require the two hour wait. All right, so now that we're here, all we're gonna do is since I just want to add a second key, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add a key. And so we're gonna hit add a key. It says it takes at least 10 minutes to execute this function. Please ensure that the vehicle has sufficient battery and cannot be put in a sleep state. Otherwise, uh, execution may fail. Turn on hazard warning lights. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our hazard warning lights. And just like that message said, if the voltage drops below 12.5, it can fail part way through this process because the ignition will just automatically turn off by itself. So just make sure if, uh, especially if it's the two hour wait vehicle, make sure you have a battery maintainer on the battery for 12.5 um, volts at the least and uh, keep that consistent. This one's just the 10 minute wait, it should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and continue with the process. So I'm gonna hit yes. The scanner has to be connected to the internet, it is. Uh, can the ignition be switched on? If it cannot, op close and open the driver's door every 10 seconds and observe the instrument until the in instrument responds before proceeding to the next step. So I do have an existing key, so I'm just gonna switch the ignition on. But if you didn't, you would just hit okay here, and then you would just open and close the driver's door every 10 seconds while it's communicating. And after like 15 or 20 seconds, it should just force the ignition on. So, but since we have a working key, I'm going to press and hold the start button till it switches on and you can see the light turns green. If it turns orange, that means you press and release it and it's in accessory mode, make sure it's green. Again, otherwise if it's in accessory mode, it, it may fail part way through the process. So we're gonna hit okay here. We have the ignition on. And it says getting server data request. And here is where we're going to enter in our credit number that we pulled off of that website. All right, so we have our, our credit entered in now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit okay. And once we enter in our credit, it's gonna go ahead and read data from the vehicle, send it to the server, calculate it. And then it should start our 10 minute wait after it's done here. So we'll let it do its thing real quick. All right, so now it says, please wait 10 minutes starts the timer. So we're gonna come back around nine minutes and 30 seconds and show you the rest of the process. All right, so we only have about 10 seconds left. So we're gonna catch this at last little bit right here. And then it's gonna have us wait 30 more seconds. So during this 30 seconds, one thing I wanna mention is this vehicle didn't have the owner's manual in it. I tried Googling the owner's manual and the layout of the vehicle where the programming slot should be is normally in the owner's manual, but it, it doesn't match up for this year making model what I found online. So I'm gonna try in a few different spots to find the programming slot when we get to that point, um, but it shouldn't be too hard to find, but I may need to try a few spots. All right, so it says put the key to be matched in the induction zone cup holder and keep the other keys away. So this is my original key right here. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and start by trying this key in the cup holder. I'm going to hit OK. 
and it says press the start button for two seconds. If the display does not change, so if you look at the dash right here, it, it says ready for key three. And then it said service deterrent right after, but it said ready for key three. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the start button. And it says key not learn, try again. So I'm gonna try this key in a different spot. I'm gonna try that learn right there. Key not learn, try again. We're gonna try that right there. Key not learned right here and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the because it may be in here somewhere all right sorry about the confusion guys i found it so uh we had to lift up this metal storage console right here and then down here there's a little handle you pull this up and down here at the very bottom this is where our slot for our key is so i'm gonna go ahead and slide the key in there and then i'm gonna go ahead and press the start button and let's see it says ready for key three and I tap the start button and now you can see it says ready for key four. Um, so it, it did say ready for key four. So I'm going to go ahead and going back to my tablet, we're going to hit OK. And it says current number of keys three. Do you need to program any more? I'm going to hit yes because it said it was... Uh, so we'll go ahead and tap the start button, hit OK, OK. Yeah, sorry about that. So no more keys need to be programmed. I'm going to go ahead and hit no. It says please wait about 12 seconds. It says press and hold the start button for 16 seconds. So this should switch the ignition off and close out the programming mode. So this little timer, it, this is not doing anything. It's just telling you about how long you need to press and hold the start button. And now if we look at the dash, it says key learning complete. So go ahead and stop holding that. And then it says switch the ignition off. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the start button once, open the door. Close the door, hit OK. And programming is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there. I'll go ahead and unplug my tablet, set it to the side, and we're going to check both of our keys. So we have our original key here. Lock and unlock, working our new key. Lock and unlock working. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the original key outside of the vehicle and try to start the car with the new key. So we set that on the ground outside of the vehicle. It shouldn't be able to reach it there. Car starts right up. So that's it. That's the whole process, guys. Thanks. The future. The future.